everyone, welcome back to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley, and today we have a beautiful Mercedes convertible for everyone. But before we get to this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and click the bell to turn the notifications on. Make sure and check out our website, autohousenaples.com, for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful Mercedes. Plane's already out, and messing up our video. This is a 2005 Mercedes-Benz CLK 55 AMG convertible. This one is really beautiful. It's in a super pretty color. It's a brilliant silver metallic and it's really pretty in the sun, in the shade. Up front here you got these nice headlights, kind of like peanut shaped. <laughs> But they're super clear. For a 2005, they're really crystal clear, which is nice. You have this grill. It's got four louvers in it. It's very simple and sleek. You've got your Mercedes-Benz emblem, and then you also have the flat emblem right there. I kind of prefer the flat opposed to the, uh, the one that's standing up. But the overall look of the car, it has this really sporty look. It's in really great condition, this specific model. Um, you have a lot of the AMG features on it, so you're going to have these AMG wheels and these are in really good shape. You don't have a lot of curb rash or anything like that. So you got the AMG emblem on your wheel and then you also have the AMG brake caliper. Really neat. I think that looks really cool. It's a nice touch. And then these tires are going to be 225-40ZR18s. So you're going to have 18 inch wheels and you got BF Goodrich tires all in really good shape down the side of the car you don't have any dents or dings the paintwork is in really phenomenal condition this specific model only has 48,400 miles on it which is very relatively low for the year it's in really great shape inside you kind of have this matching a uh, gray interior the color is called ash it's really nice it complements this kind of like all gray car but when the top's up you have this black top um it's uh, that's in really great shape as well too you'll see that in a minute seats are all in really great shape one thing i really like about these clks is the leg room in the back seat so you have quite a bit of space actually it's a pretty usable back seat some cars you're going to have a back seat but it's definitely not usable but you have quite a bit of leg room back there back here you're also going to have 18 inch wheels these ones are going to be 255 35 zr18s and again you got the amg wheel and brake calipers really great look on the CLK versus a standard CLK without the AMG. It looks really nice and sleek. It's very sporty. On the back you have your AMG badging and the CLK 55. The taillights as well are in really great shape. Good condition overall. Let's pop the trunk real quick. So hit the button on the remote, open up, we've got a couple things in here, you've got your car cover, you've got your windscreen back here, and then you've also got your AMG license plate frame if you want to use that, um, battery charger, just a couple things in there, but overall the space isn't too bad. Right now we have this down so the, um, the top can sit down there, but when you have the top up and you push that up, you have a decent amount of space, no different than uh, most, you know, sedans or coupes, anything like that. Oh. Back here you also have your AMG exhaust, really nice too, it's got the AMG badging on there. That looks really sporty as well. So let's pop the hood real quick. Oh, 
All right, I absolutely love the look underneath the hood here. You have your hand-built AMG engine, and this one's going to be a 5.5 liter V8. It's gonna give you 362 horsepower, more than the original or the plain CLK. Right there, that's real neat too. You got the signature too and the, the plate for the hand-built AMG engine. This is going to be zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which is awesome, and top speed of 155. Really great shape underneath here. Not a lot of wear, and it's crazy to think that this car is built in 2005 because it doesn't look like it. It doesn't have the typical wear you'd see on a 2005 car. It's in really great shape. Let's check out the interior. All right. So one thing that's really nice is you also have another little AMG touch. You have this AMG little um, sill right here on the door still or door sill. <laughs> so you got your AMG badging right there. Over here on the door panel, you're gonna have three memory settings for the driver, and you're also gonna have that on the passenger side. You're gonna have all your window buttons right down beneath there as well. And your trunk button, everything like that. You also have these rubber floor mats too, which is really nice. You got the, your weather mats. And then inside here, You've got your, here, let me start it up too. So your instrument cluster here is really nice. It's very simple. I like the gas gauge and the temperature on the right. They're kind of neat, they're digital, and it's just kind of a different type of gauge there. You're gonna have your clock, your analog clock, your speedometer, and then also your RPMs. It's nice to have like the little AMG touch right there as well. And again, you can see the miles. We can flip through different settings on there as well, which is very cool. I like to have the temperature one up, but you have all those settings. And then in here, it's in really great shape. All the buttons, there's no wear or anything like that. All the buttons are in really great shape. You're gonna have heated and ventilated seats for both driver and passenger, your lock unlock, all those kinds of settings. And then you're going to have your audio, your map too. You can click that. And the map's in really great shape. It's overall a nice, simple infotainment center, everything you need. You've got dual temp in here as well. So you've got both temperature settings for each side. I also like that you can adjust not just the temperature, but also which um, which vents you want it coming out on each side because you can do that for both sides. And then of course here you've got your shift knob, really great shape here as well. You've got your cigarette lighter and your little ashtray. And then here's gonna be your top button. That's super simple too. And then I really like the center console in these CLKs. So you can open it like this and you can do that on each side. There's a button over here as well. But then you can also raise this up if you want your armrest to be a little higher or you can put it back down. And then if you pull this lever, it's gonna open up the full bigger compartment and you're gonna have a lot of space underneath there. You even have this little compartment that comes out Overall, just a lot of good space in here, and it's pretty versatile. It's got a lot of different, you know, uses, which is really nice. And then over here, a lot of times this one will be a little storage compartment, but what I really like is it's a cup holder. So that's pretty versatile and pretty useful in here. And then you're also going to have your glove box. This is in really great shape, and you also have your CD changer as well. Pretty good storage in there overall. And the seats are in just such amazing condition. I like, again, you got this little AMG badging on your seat. It's really neat, all the little AMG touches in here. So you're reminded that you're not just in a typical CLK. And then up here for your sun visors, you've got this like Alcantara material, which is really nice. It's super soft and that's in great shape as well. Let's put the top up and then we can go for our test drive.
convertible make sure and check it out on our website autohasnaples.com and let us help you drive your dream